Hey everyone, today I am reviewing a very versatile piece of furniture. This is an ottoman. So ottomans are basically just collapsible boxes that you can sit on and even stand on because they're just so structurally sound. They're super easy to set up. All you have to do is remove the side walls from the interior of the lid and then you just have to take out the base which is also lodged inside the lid. Push it into the bottom to give it that structure and then you just put the lid right on top. And then you just do the reverse process if you wanted to collapse it down or you know put it in storage you just have to again take out the base collapse down the sides shove it back onto the underbelly of that lid now ottomans come in a lot of different shapes and sizes this particular one is made out of velvet so it has that nice velvet material on the exterior and you can get them in an assortment of colors the one i have here is more of a beige tan color so it's very easy to match it with existing furniture and it's just under a 12 by 12 by 12 cube, so interior dimensions are roughly 11 inches by 11 inches and a little over 10 inches in height. Which is enough to fit maybe your DVD collection, so I like to keep my ottoman say in the living room. So it's a great way to store my DVDs and I can pull it out when I need them. Or let's say I have more board games or card games in there when I am, have guests over for entertainment. Or maybe I want to put a throw blanket so I can pull it out and use it when I'm on the couch to watch movies or have guests over. So a lot of things you can use uh, this ottoman bench to store. And since it's a bench so you can actually sit on it, it's advertised to be able to hold a maximum load of 220 pounds. I'm well below that rating but you can see I have no problem sitting on it as well as standing on it. And more often than not you might as well also use it as a footrest. Besides velvet, on pretty much all sides of this ottoman, besides of course on the bottom, it also has a very nice cushion in the lid, so it's very sturdy and it's also very comfortable to sit on for long periods of time. The material for the sides lining the inside as well as the bottom aren't as glamorous, they're kind of more of a tarpy-like material, but it's at least easier to clean and as you can imagine, velvet is a material that's more difficult to clean, so it's kind of nice in a way that the interior material is less maintenance. But I also kind of wish that the bottom was lined with something a little bit thicker, stronger. I'm just a little bit concerned about wear and tear over time. And something else that I also noticed, and I think it's pretty common on most ottoman designs anyway though, is that the felt is wrapped along the edge on the bottom as well, so you can expect that part to be getting dirty much quicker than any other part of the ottoman. And then when I first took it out of the packaging, it also had a very strong chemical smell, so I would definitely let it air out for maybe a couple days or a couple hours, depending on how well the airflow is where you place it, to just kind of let that chemical-ish smell dissipate. But otherwise, it's a pretty nice ottoman. I mean, if you're looking for a reasonably small, compact ottoman, and best of all, it's very inexpensive, so check it out.